Guys, San Sigo coach Matt Curry back. Today I want to talk about race pace or energy systems and which of the two do you train to. Um, I'll give you a relative example of this of say an Ironman, professional male Ironman, racing an Ironman bike leg in four and a half hours, let's say on a, on a pretty flat course. And if you want to get into numbers, let's say averaging, if he wants to run decently, something around 79, 80% of the one hour power. Then we can take a slower age group athlete, perhaps out on course for 12 hours and maybe out on the bike course for, I don't know, six odd hours. Um, and they might have a, a an average race intensity on the bike leg that's going to get down closer to the 70 odd percent of their one hour power or even a bit lower. So which do you train to? Does the athlete train to the actual race pace or do they train to the um, the metabolic a metabolic system that's going to provide fitness benefits well my argument is for the latter in the case of the professional training at race pace or or just above it in terms to end up with that sort of average in the race then physiologically in terms of intensity that's my what I would call a medium intensity zone for the age grouper um, that's more of a basic pace so two different metabolic intensities between the two the two athletes there and you're going to get two very different um, sort of stimuli so in my coaching I work on targeting the systems the age grouper will do some quality work uh, hitting the same relative intensities as the professionals in order to train the same systems in order to promote the same fitness gains that we're seeking with the pros so some food for thought there next time you see the word race pace thrown around and it is thrown around out there and it's often thrown around without any uh, stipulation I notice as to the actual race distance to which it's applying you know you can have the prescription of a set and just saying race pace so you also number one find out which distance it's pertinent to and number two if the relative intensity of that race pace for you based on your speeds is, is a positive one is one that provides fitness benefits and isn't a, a grey zone, so to speak. So, obviously some food for thought there. Um, just a little bit of a, a tip, hope that helps.